What's good YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to color hair in Adobe Illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click post notifications so you will be notified every time I drop some heat. In today's video, who I'm using for this tutorial is a YouTuber that go by the name of SS Sniper Wolf. She got a dope channel, man. Go check it out. It's very entertaining. I watch it time from time, and I think it's pretty dope. One more thing I want to show you guys in this video is how to make the eyes look very interesting. So when it get to that part, I'm going to start back talking again, and I'm going to show y'all how to do that. I got a little trick to make the eyes look dope on your cartoons. Now starting with the eyes, the first thing you want to do is create you a new layer, put it on top of your line work, and then you just want to grab a random color. Just find a random color, it really don't matter what color you use for this part. And then once you find it, you want to go on top of the eyes and do like a little blob. After you do that, you want to go to your selection tool and select both of the marks you just made and then go to object, expand appearance. Then you want to go to your gradient tool, switch the numbers into the black is coming from the top and the light is coming from the bottom. How to make some dope, cool looking eyes. Okay, now it's time to start on the hair. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and create you a new layer on top of the line work. Then you want to come and find you a gradient and the swatches. And you want to make sure that gradient only have like the three color selections inside of it and on each edge like the two gradients that's on the left and the right you want to make them like a dark a dark tone because every time you get to each point you want it to fade back into the hair so you got to make it dark Just trying to find a, a perfect blend that'll give it a natural. So, and another thing I find out too, whatever color you 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 put in the center, you have to make the edges be able to fade to that so you got to get something close to it and you can just copy my settings if you like the way mine's turn out as far as picking the colors for the blend I 
after you do that, you want to come over to your brush. And you want to pick the smallest brush there is. You want to come in. And you want to make the lines. And you see how it just fades in? Because we got each of our edges fading back into the black so it just look natural. Another thing you want to do too while you're doing this, you want to kind of make it unpredictable because Harry is unpredictable. So just, just put it wherever you feel it should be, like wherever you think it'll be in it. You gotta to give it that effect. Don't just go like in a, a straight line. Try to do it and give it some shape. And there you have it, you guys. How to make hair in Adobe Illustrator. Go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this time.